Hello everybody, my name is Squilliam from VSL and I'm here today for your weekly news report. I have a few things for you guys today, so let's get started with an outline of what we'll be covering. We have reports on a nerf to the antenna and a new game mode from the devs. We also have news of a leaked LMG that could be added to the game. The VSL logo votes are wrapping up by the end of this week. Honorable Bandit's head, Smokey, is returning. And Dizzy Online stream this weekend is to be expected. So first, let's jump right into the antenna nerf. Uh, so for those of you who don't play the game, the antenna generates crowns that the player can use in-game. The antenna used to, used to generate by increments per day, with the max being 30 crowns in one day. Um, so a player could get up to 210 crowns in a week. But the big thing is that that has now changed drastically. The time to generate a max antenna collection has gone from 24 hours to a whole week, meaning that a player can only collect 6 crowns per day and only 42 a week. This is an 80% decrease in production, and this is a massive change which is why there is such a large uproar, and if you're active in the Vigor community, I'm sure you've seen it somewhere. A large part of the situation escalating to the scale that it has it was due purely from a miscommunication. Okay, so this may have all come really quickly and it could be a bit confusing, so let's get some things straight. On Saturday, a micro patch that was believed to be a glitch originally was discovered by players, and Pekka the dev said from a storyteller's perspective that the new map was affecting crown production. So many people took this as him implying a glitch being active in the game. News of it being a glitch was shared by many partners and streamers, so the vast majority of people thought this was a glitch. But then, on Monday, October 1st, uh, the devs confirmed this as an intended and official patch, which led to a massive outbreak of arguments and discussion throughout the community. So, the community does have mixed feelings about this, however the majority is towards the negative side of things. There are multiple sides pertaining to this situation though, and in order to cover it correctly, I have complied, compiled opinions from across Facebook, Reddit, and Discord. On Facebook and Reddit, I have gathered messages sent and the responses to them. So the first one was an image uh, created by someone on the Reddit, uh, and it, it portrays a car labeled Bohemia swerving off to the side, and instead of going straight and fixing the antenna glitch, they decide to swerve off and make no comment. Uh, this is clearly a vote against, or a, a post against the devs, and I'd like to point out that it has 118 upvotes. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's a lot of upvotes for something so against the, the devs there. And the next post we have here... Um, I'm, I'm not going to read this one out loud, but feel free to take a read at that. It has 85 upvotes, and again is against the devs. And it shows that people are angry with the mods, partners, and devs that are all just trying to maintain trust between one another. So even if there's tension, everyone's trying to maintain trust, and people are still against them and are kind of overlooking that. Um, and again, this has 85 upvotes. Now, uh, a post from our very, very lovely plucky Squatch here. We have, he says, an unpopular opinion since people don't think businesses need to make money. He basically says, the antenna doesn't need a revert, the store needs to give more crowns per purchase, and y'all need to not expect handouts. Um, and the big takeaway here is this, this post has zero upvotes. Um, this is a pro-dev opinion and it has zero upvotes compared to 85 upvotes and 118. So now moving on to the Facebook um, arguments. We have the first one here, uh, a neutral post saying, okay, so it's been a good few days of discussing and arguing about the antenna. Just let the devs sort something out, so let's forget about it and go to the Winchester, have a pint, and wait for this all to blow over. Basically, they're trying to sell, tell the people that this isn't something to freak out over, and people need to calm down and let the devs do what they're doing. Um, 
and it has 17 likes and uh, yeah it's a great representation of a neutral standpoint on this this whole event and now we have a very anti-dev anti-vigor now uh, post so this person said, I thought that getting crowns was bad enough at an awful rate, when you have to spend them every game to enjoy it, at, and enjoy it at all for a chance at a better drop. But now, your update is a clear disrespect to the community that was already getting bored of the game, but now I can safely say that I'm done with it. A laughing emojis. Good luck keeping players after that. Shrug. Shame, because it had a lot of potential, but you chose to be the typically, typical greedy, money-grabbing company. So that was a full-on angry letter, almost, to the bigger devs. Um, and it has 18 likes. It's, like I said, clearly against the devs. And it shows that people are that people aggravated about the game are about as present to those who have trust in the devs. So both sides of the party are present here. And one thing to notice as well is that Facebook has less anti-dev comments than Reddit. However, they are still a present force in uh, the community. And then a moderator actually made a post, and you see a caution sign here, um, and it's addressed to everyone playing the game, and it says Outlanders. As you may have noticed, your antenna was tweaked over the weekend, producing a lower amount of crowns. We are currently testing this change, and we are open to your feedback. Uh, so, this has 20 likes and 7, I repeat, 7 negative reactions. Um, and this is obviously for the devs, but it's concerning the situation, and the mod who made this post was trying to clear up confusion um, between the arguments uh, by saying that this is not necessarily going to be permanent. permanent, we're just testing it. So, but people are still overlooking that and just completely uh, going off the charts. So, what we got next is on the VSL Discord, which I want to point out is a very opinionated space, but overall pro dev. Um, I created a new channel in which I asked everyone uh, what is your opinion on this and again from Plucky Squatch he summed it up pretty nicely from a pro dev standpoint he said that he genuinely agrees with it but with some conditions and it being the change uh, to the antenna he said I feel that in the shop currently crowns are way too little bang for your buck and a dinky skin is not always worth twenty dollars and that's where the issue is being able to get at upwards of 150 plus crowns per week is literally close to $7 of in-game currency per week, which means Vigor would never grow. If crowns in the shop provided more bang for your buck, that would remedy the issue of both Vigor having a shot at succeeding financially, financially and would make crate upgrades and insurance less expensive overall. So yeah, that's from Plucky Squatch, like I said. Um, yeah, however, on the positive note, the Vigor game devs told us that there will be higher crown rewards for completing challenges, and you will receive more crowns and airdrops. But, it may be harder to do the, to acquire airdrops and complete challenges with a lower base income of crowns to get higher level airdrops and high loot and stuff like that. So, that is a summary of the whole antenna nerf situation from multiple standpoints um, and if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to uh, mention those down in the comments but we're gonna move on to our next topic of a new game mode being announced from the Vigor official Twitter um, I'll show an image of the post on the screen um, so we don't really know much about the game mode other than that it will come out with 1.1 uh, from the post, we can deduce that it will include knowing the maps of the game, so you want to start studying those. And the post says, to find Polaroid pictures around, scattered around the encounters, localize the buried cache, and get the loot. They mention boosted loot in this game mode as well. 
and to me this seems almost like it could be a scavenger hunt game where you get clues via the photos and then you find the treasure and goal. Uh, in this case it seems like it's a buried cache of something, probably loot. So let us know what you think that could be down in the comments. And then one last smaller thing related specifically to gameplay is the leak of the new LMG as it was added to the weapons list but isn't possible to use or obtain. Uh, it seems to be the return of the old RPK from point eight, and I'm looking forward to see its full release uh, with 1.1. Now, a couple things uh, that are much, much less controversial and more positive. First, we have on Wednesday, October 2nd, Honorable Bandit's leader has returned from his three-week break. Uh, so welcome back, Smokey. And this is a this is quite some time to return. Uh, it's really something to return to, but uh, yeah, we wish him luck and we wish him well. Also, Dizzy Online is planned to have an all-day 12-hour stream this Saturday, October 5th, so make sure you stop in there and check them out. And another thing is that the VSL logo will be fin the VSL logo vote will be finishing on Friday, October 4th. So make sure you get your votes in and look forward to seeing what will actually come out as the top vote for the logo. So now we're going to have two interviews, uh, one from Bobo Rail, who is one of our VSL founders and is generally pro dev, and he does play the game, of course, and he's going to talk about the subject of the antenna nerf that we talked about earlier. So yeah, we're going to shoot over to that. All right, so here we have Mr. Chadman from our VSL Discord, uh, and we're going to be interviewing him with similar questions as we did with Bobo Rail, except this is going to be, and I emphasize this, from someone who doesn't play the game and purely an economic and logical standpoint. Yeah, I don't have a copy of the game or anything. I'm just <clears throat> just sort of looking at when you remove all emotion from it, what exactly is happening. That's sort of my take on it, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. So, I guess the first question, um, what do you think of the antenna nerf? Like, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah. So, I can understand to a point why they're doing that, but I think that the whole issue as a whole has been overblown, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, I don't have an opinion on the issue very largely, as currently, obviously, I don't, it doesn't literally affect me null, like none. Yeah. But, effectively... Because they're reducing from the maximum, right? It's down from, I think, 30 to 6, what I remember. Mm -hmm. it, effectively, and it actually takes a while to get there, effectively what it's doing is making so that the only people who are truly, truly hit by this and like feel the effects very, very heavily are people very far into the game that spend not much money, right? So effectively, yeah. I think the reason, to an extent, that this issue is so large, right, is because the same people who were hit hardest, right, your free to play supply a lot, are also the same type of people to, say, go on Reddit, Discord, etc., and say how strongly they feel about this. Yeah. So, so, like, overall, right, like, I was talking to um, Christopher Beast earlier, right, on a call with, actually, <laughs> you were on there, you probably remember, <laughs> and uh, how we were all talking about the only people, like, streamers, partners, etc., they're not really hit too hard with this. They're, they're already going to spend the money either way so they can grow. And a lot of players, yeah. it seems, do. Obviously, it's free to play, right, which means not as many as very expensive games, but still a, a decent extent. Yeah. So the very the main demographic, if I had to dumb it down really, really far, that are being affected by this are also the loudest, being the free-to-play, long-time players who mm -hmm. actually lost something. Yes. But, uh, and you also dived next into my next question, which was going to be, how does it affect the player? Um, and you basically summed that yeah. up really well. Yeah, so... I guess just to reiterate the small stuff, effectively your average player, right? Meaning you say you log on once or twice a what week, month, etc. Probably won't be yeah. hurt too much, to be honest, because it's more. Because not only does this, um, this is not only affected by seniority, right, or like mm -hmm. game progression. It's also affected by how much you play, right? Yeah. Because, to my knowledge, right, say you have it for one day, right? You can't only log on one time, wait seven days, and collect seven days of the worth of rewards. It's only how much you play. So if you don't play yeah. much at all, right, no matter how far in the game, it won't really matter, right? So for your typical player who's extremely casual, it won't be a huge difference to my knowledge. So yeah, I guess that's that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so 
from the perspective of the devs at this point, do you think it was the right choice for them to make? To reduce the amount of crowns you get from the antenna and only make that change? I think, to an extent, artificially controlling the crown production. I mean, I can definitely see where they're coming from. They're just like, well, let's go squeeze a little bit of money out of a very niche portion of the community. I don't necessarily think that they intended to get this large. I mean, maybe they did, but I don't think they expected to be that strongly negative. Because I've seen both pros and cons, like opinions, but it seems it's, it's like the hot topic at the moment. Yeah. But I do think to an extent that if they're going to do that, right, and nothing wrong with them doing that, right, it's completely within their right and all that, I do think they may want to change some other things. I've heard, I don't actually endorse any of these ideas, and again, opinion-wise, should they? I'm pretty neutral. I don't, it doesn't affect me. But I do think that they may potentially want to change something else, say you get more crowns per um, purchase or whatever, mm-hmm. or reduce the prices of certain things, because um, that can actually make it so that, um, say, you know, ju- you're not going to get much playing passively, but let's say you even spend a couple bucks and you're, you have a couple weeks worth, that would be, you know, pretty good. Yeah. However, the problem with that is that the devs wouldn't be able to make as much money, like mm-hmm. by a massive margin. So they probably won't yeah. do that realistically. I was looking at the, um, in preparation for this, I was looking at the um, prices, and it yes. averages out to about 3.4 cents a crown, which is uh, significant, I guess, on a very large scale. But not so day to day, I guess. Well, at least for purchase. I realized though that effectively, since at the max, right, you're being paid thirty crowns a day from this antenna. Like, well, previously. that's what it, that's what it was. Yeah, previously. So at a spot price of three point four cents, they're paying you like a dollar's worth of in-game currency a day, which is extremely high. Like, yeah. that's equivalent. If anybody listening is familiar with um, Clash of Clans, it's like a pay, being paid hundred gems a day. It's pretty pretty big. Yeah. Now, they reduce that so that you're effectively getting, well, 6 times 3.4, you know, so like 18, 20, you know, cents a day worth of um, currency. So, obviously a lot less, but I do think that if you do play a lot, you're, you'll still definitely get the rewards, just won't be nearly as fast as before. Mm-hmm. So Yeah. And then, last question, you've kind of touched on it a little bit, but just to kind of bring it into one spot. Do yep. you think that the nerf or change... Not necessarily in nerf. Should have been made somewhere else. For example, cost for upgrades, cost for anything that costs crowns. Um, I think it should have not necessarily been in replace of something else. I think it should have been done along with, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Because, right, here's the thing. So if you make it right, so that instead of 3 for 1 cents a crown, right, let's say it's 31 percent of a cent right or something very very small like that right Mm -hmm. or even the most nominal amount of money say one two even even ten i think it's fair dollars Mm -hmm. would get you all these crowns you could use to have a super great game experience um i think there'd be a lot less of a problem because if i think it is safe to say or fair to say that the devs should make some money off this obviously because you know yeah making a game that obviously everybody's enjoying enough to talk about but I think that if they made it a lot cheaper to buy large amounts of crowns, it would be much less impactful to reduce mm-hmm. that. Yeah. But it would still, as if you look at it as the total amount of crowns sold, right, um, it would probably wouldn't change much, cause, right? Because the amount you're saving and the extra purchases may... Actually, you might even have more crowns then, which could yeah. be interesting. Um, I guess right. a final thing mm-hmm. to mention would be that um, I guess it's just very important, so I'm going to say it again, you know, it seems that this problem is massively overblown, because um, it's only a very small, it's a small portion of a small portion of players that play actively that are making this a very large issue, so. Yeah. My opinion on it is neutral, it doesn't affect me. I do think the devs may have wanted to implement it differently, possibly, mm-hmm. but I can definitely see where they're coming from, uh, especially mm-hmm. from a purely logical standpoint. And, and like... Like I said earlier, they do this. They're doing this purely as a test to see what oh, yeah. the reaction will be. So yeah. it's not, from what we can tell right now, it won't be permanent. But we're not going to make any specific okay. claims. Yeah. Oh, and also, I guess back to the um, first or second question, the one about the players. I was also um, remembering just now that you 
because crowns, like, say, you can't buy, say, a gun with crowns, like, directly, right? Like, there's no, this isn't insert generic game here where it's just full, real with microtransactions that you have to buy in order to do anything. The entire game, including all elements of gameplay, aside like cosmetic and stuff, seem to be free. Correct me if I'm wrong. So yes. it's effectively this small sliver of players, right, being very, very mad that they can't get the things that were designed to be paid for for free after waiting a while. So yeah, that would be the most completely true version of it. Feel free to spin that. I don't mean you personally. I mean like the listener. You know, feel free to spin mm-hmm. that or interpret that as you will. But effectively, it makes it you can't just wait a while, or at least you have to wait much longer in order to get the premium stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. All right. So that was Chadman from our Discord. Uh, thanks, Chad. thanks for coming on. Um, <laughs> if, if, anybody yeah. is, uh, if anybody's on <clears throat> the VSL, just hit me up. Have me. I'm always up to talk. <laughs> All right. Yeah. See you yeah. guys. <laughs> All right. So here we have Bobo Rail with me here right now. And uh, yeah, so we're going to get into the first question here. Uh, Bobo Rail, what do you think of the nerf to the antenna? Quite frankly, I am pretty pissed. Um, this nerf, in all of its endeavors with, like, first, nobody really knowing exactly what's going on, if it was a bug or intentional or whatever, and then through all the cryptic tweets and stuff, I just... I... I, I, it was stressing me out to begin with, trying to figure out enough, like, what is actually going on. And then pretty much my worst fears came when they said that it was intentional. And so, no, I'm upset about the the nerf. Flat out. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I guess I kind of have two questions in one. First, how does it affect you? And then the player base, how would it affect them as a whole? For me, it's not the biggest deal. Um, I have a decent amount of crowns right now. Uh, Even with that, I don't usually spend crowns in matches unless Mm -hmm. I'm with a duo and they really, and I'm like talking to them and they're like lower level than me. I'm I I already have every plan in the game. Like crates are pretty nothing to me at this point, and so I just. But it definitely hurts the player base pretty drastically Mm -hmm. because the only way i made it this far with the progression so quickly is because all the founders pretty much i I, like i i started uh this since the most recent progress wipe all the way back in uh point nine Mm -hmm. and so having all the partners or not partners but the um founders as a like reliable source of crowns as well as like getting the new antenna has changed a lot like before having the antenna i re- it, like it was still pretty much even worse than it is now with like just people not boosting crates but like it was still a little better because everybody was a founder which means everybody had at least 1500 so like base crates yeah, crowns. but like base crowns yeah. for uh, the founders pack reward. Mm-hmm. But no, to to bring it back to the point, the this hurts the player base bad because now none of the lower people can progress at the same level that people who have been playing like slightly before them. Like it, uh, let's say a week before this thing drops or uh, like this crown change hit. Yeah, players were advancing at pretty much three times the speed as news they are, today would. As they yeah. are now, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And so, if if you create that kind of divide even further than it already was with people from 0.9 having such a boost, like, at least, I don't know, it's just, it's brutal. Not having these blue crates means that none of the lower level players are getting access to any of the better guns and it's just they're stuck on whites forever yeah. and it, it it's not okay and like they said like their their justification for it or whatever was that well uh yeah the the higher level crates 
have much higher crown spawns now. Well, nobody can mm-hmm. get the higher level crates because nobody's paying for the crates in the lobbies because they don't have any crowns. Exactly. So, that's that's one of the things I mentioned actually earlier in this video yeah. um, that <laughs> it, it makes sense because completing challenges, you can get higher amounts of crowns. Receiving airdrops, you can get higher amounts of crowns. But no one has the base, especially the new players, has the base of crowns to get to those. Not to not to mention, I think it was like three days ago. I had a set of challenges that was, uh, it was like, s- spend uh, three boosters in matches, spend mm-hmm. five boosters in matches, spend ten boosters in matches. All three of them, the reward was equivalent value in crowns. So it so, literally yes, got you nothing. Getting, it literally got me uh, like. It's not necessarily an issue, but with those challenges, which are, I believe, more likely to give you crowns because it's supposed to reward you back, y- nobody has crowns. So yeah. most, of the, uh, most of the things that they're saying like, oh yeah, you can get out of challenges, most of the challenges that have that require spending crowns, which yeah. nobody has. So how are you supposed to get them from challenges? Yeah. It's, it's, it's just a whole mess of... It's like an endless loop of not being able to get out of it. To get out of it, exactly. And All which right. means just more and more white crates. Yeah. So from a player's perspective and then also from like a, a partner's perspective, was this the right choice? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It yes, uh, honestly, I feel like through them doing this, it has created such a ripple effect of like people being pissed off at the devs to the point where nobody is going to buy crowns this week or Mm -hmm. for the weeks to come until uh, maybe the content will distract people enough when when 1.1 drops in my personal opinion i think that this needs to get changed because if it doesn't it is going to leave a lasting very bad influence on the rest of the community now, whether or not this decision was really made by Bohemia or the devs themselves, I can't say for certain. But it's it's definitely the wrong move by whoever made the decision. Mm-hmm. And it just it messes with me. Yeah. And then the final question I have for you is, should they have made the nerf or change in it somewhere else or like something else like to supplement what they've done? To supplement what they've done? Um, yeah, so my question is, should they done something more, or just done it in an entirely different place overall? I mean, the preferred route would be if they had just never touched it, in mm-hmm. my opinion. But, although, like, people were still complaining about, like, overpriced things in the shop. Mm-hmm. And to me, it just felt like most, most people aren't buying cosmetics anyways. This yeah. game is earning money through people boosting crates. Like, realistically, I, I, at least from what I've heard from other people, I can't obviously verify anything because I don't have the data. But, like, most people I have talked to barely touch the shop. Yeah. Because, A, it's too overpriced, and B, it just doesn't make sense, and it's not worth it. And most people who have the cosmetics that they want have already gotten them out of crates. Yeah. So, it... It's and you're just, gonna, and if you get crates, you're gonna continue to receive them. So like, yeah, with everybody complaining about the store, the store doesn't really matter. Like, yeah. In in the long run, what really matters to me is its effect on matches, which has been a lot, like quite a significant amount. And now mm-hmm. it's 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 really showing. It's really showing. And to. To say that they should have changed any specific part, I mean, maybe if they lowered the price of in-game boosters, but that would just throw the whole thing out of balance, and at that point, why would you have changed it in the first place? Yeah. Um, well, the one, one thing I would like to point out is that one of the moderators did mention that this is a test to see um, what people say from it. Uh, like, they're looking for feedback, they want feedback, and they're trying to get a reaction to see what people think of it. So, obviously they got a reaction. They uh, know what people think of it now for sure. Um, and they haven't given a response yet, haven't they? Uh, not that I know of. Not as of this moment. Uh, not as of this moment. Today is October it. 2nd. So, 
so, on a Wednesday. For, for uh, the viewers. 8, 8.20 Eastern Standard Time in, in the evening. Uh, yeah. So, uh, as of this moment, we don't have any confirmation of anything. But Which is too long, in my opinion. Yeah. I, I think it's I mean, very well, it's obvious. Since that last Saturday. They've seen it, yeah. It's been five days now. So. They've definitely seen what feedback we've given at this point, and for there still to not be anything from the devs regarding it is yeah. kind of ridiculous. To and right. they're active on social media though, so yeah, they are. Um, so do you have anything know. else you'd like to say before I uh, wrap this up? Not really. I just really hope that they switch this back and really, if there's a time when they needed to listen to the community, it is right now more than yeah. anything. Because if they don't, I really fear that this game is going to die because of it. Mm -hmm. Not because of the actual effect that it had on the matches, but because of the players. The uproar. Are, they hate the devs yeah. because of this. Like, And if you have a player base that hates the makers of the game, then you, it's not going to go very far. Mm -hmm. I love All this right. game. I've put hundreds of hours in it, but mm -hmm. it just... Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, uh, thanks for doing the interview. And, yeah, um, no problem, man. Yeah, well, uh, that's going to about do it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, anything you'd like to add to any of the points I made today, feel free to let us know down in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, we'll try and keep you posted on what's going on with this event. Uh, we're planning to make one next week if this does well. And if um, anything comes up, then we'll make another update sooner but that's all from me this has been uh, Squilliam and I will see you guys next time mm -hmm.